seed. Save your energy. We have an hour. I decided if I was going to do TV, because I was never not going to be myself. You're sitting next to one on the couch, so let's just say that. Be yourself, but not too much of yourself. Now, here's Jason. in case you didn't hear us we said hi it's Jason wait it's not we're not Jason not but this is still the Jason show we're just Kendall Mark and Shane Wells hey! hi. <laughs> Jason has a nice long weekend off yes well you can only guess where he is anybody want to guess where Jason is Orlando. Thank you, Orlando, Paris. Disney. Yes, Paris. Paris. Yes. Nice, yeah. <laughs> He's French today. Um, yeah, happy, happy Friday to you. I'm happy to see you here. Thank you. I feel like you've been here because I was on maternity leave, yeah. but I wasn't here with you. It's been a while. It's been a Shendel. We used to do the Shendel show whenever Jason would be off. Say that three times fast and try not to accidentally say something you shouldn't be saying That's on true. TV. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's been, it's been a while. Yes. Um, we just learned something, though. Oh, yeah, this was good. We had Stephanie March yes. on our other show on the other side of the wall there. He yes. works for Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine, food editor. And we thought that all of you in the Seattle area could deny or confirm this for us. So she said she just was in Tacoma for the weekend. Visiting last son, weekend. Yep. Mm -hmm. And she said, do you want to know what the kids do now? And we said, <laughs> my first thought was, aren't I the kids? <laughs> it's like, no, so wait, we're I'm not, not anymore. Cool. We're not cool. <laughs> um, but beside that, you know, <laughs> we thank you, audience, for saying that we're not the kids anymore. But she said they eat cucumbers at parties. Like, they put out a bowl of cucumbers, to which we had several questions about that. They put out a bowl of cucumbers, and they just eat them throughout their drinking partaking so that they're not hung over the next day. And she said it worked. Yeah, she says it works. There's, like, vitamins and hydration. Good for your I eyes. I usually dine on, like, chips. But right. Like, okay. Cucumbers, like, sure. We did burgers and burritos, but yeah. you know, the cucumbers could be healthy. So please let us know if this is a thing or if this was just where Stephanie was. <laughs> please. Like Tacoma, or let us you know. Try it this weekend. <laughs> yeah. The cucumbers, that's where it's at. All right. You know what time it is. Time for the hot dish roll, Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Do you frost it's Friday? Dish? Why yeah, not? you like sour cream or something? You just frost it up. Oh, Shane. No. Oh. It's a big day for JLo. She is dropping not one, but two big projects today, including her first album in 10 years, featuring the single Can't Get Enough. She looks good. All right, J-Lo says the album is all about her rekindled romance with Ben Affleck. She also announced a 30-city tour kicking off in Orlando this summer. Can I just say, like, who looks like that? Also, we couldn't She's play the full kind. video because it's it's very steamy. It's a very steamy little video. Okay, so Watch your I yourself. actually like this. So usually on songs, I like the chorus more than the verse. Uh -huh. But this song is weird reverse for me. I like the verses and not the chorus because every other word is a word that has to be bleeped. This is true. Again, we, Which, you notice that we only played like 10 seconds. What an of interesting song. song to drop first, mm -hmm. one that is full of bleeps. Yeah, maybe she just wanted like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> maybe she just wanted, you know how they do that? We're going to talk about a different song in just a minute, but you know how they can have their top five can be one is the censored version sure. and one is the not censored version. True. Maybe she just wanted several top fives all in one Double song. Double the money. Smart, actually. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. We'll never know. Besides the album release, J Lo is out with a movie on Prime Video. We've been talking about this. We told you about this a little bit yesterday. It's called J Lo, This Is Me Now, A Love Story. It's a very interesting title. Okay, so earlier this week, she paid $20 million of her own money to actually pay for the film. We discussed this. It's an interesting looking bit, but um, first reviews are that people are saying it's not bad, question mark. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be about her. Like, it's not a documentary. I mean, is it though? Like, because there's supposed to be sci-fi, there's musicals, there's romance, 
There's, I think there's even like a hippo somewhere in this movie. I don't know. There's like, she listed everything <laughs> that could possibly be in a movie was in this. So the reviews are, I think it's okay. But I don't know if that's just because people thought it was going to be so bad that they're like, it's okay. I guess you just don't know what to expect. I love that the girl has the money and just made her own movie how she wanted to. She doesn't shame. care Too about shame. what anybody else thinks. She's like, cool email. Doing my thing. Uh, one more Jayla note, by the way. She was on the Today Show yesterday and has a warning for women trying to flirt with her husband, Ben Affleck. That was not what we were looking for. Leo, can we try this one again? Warning? <laughs> that was not her warning. Look at my dance moves. Uh, we're going to try this again. Leo. We don't have no, it. we don't, we don't have, have it. it. Okay, just kidding. We'll tell you. We'll tell you what she said. Good. I don't know. So you tell me. So she was playing a game with Hoda that was just basically like, now or then, and what would you do? Would you clap off at someone if they were hitting on her husband? And she was like, I am a very proper lady. I would do it very ladylike, but I would tell them to back all the way off. <laughs> like, she just, she, she came out. It's funny it her fun. talking about people flirting with her husband, and did we just see what she was looking like? I know. I mean, every man in that video was flirting hoping with to her. get some uh, time with J-Lo. Yeah. I mean, I want time with J-Lo. I'm happily married <laughs> to a man. <laughs> I want time with J-Lo. No one's going to blame you for Nobody. that. Nobody. Nope, not mm -hmm. at all. All right, next up in the dish, it is the song many people have been singing since it came out after the Super Bowl, Beyonce, One Country. This ain't Texas. Ooh. Ain't no hold 'em. Hey. Lay our cards down, 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 down. Okay, that's her new jam, Texas Hold 'em. So get this, four versions of the song are in the top five of the iTunes charts. And new research or reports suggest a mega mashup on Beyonce's new album will be there when it comes out. So some people think it's going to be Beyonce, look at your screen, Dolly Parton, and Miley Cyrus for this new version of Jolene. Oh, I got like a couple people that agree with me on this. Okay, yeah. can I call you, could call you out? No. How do you feel about the song, Shane Wells? Tell me. It's totally fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a big country person, so I'm going to preface it with that. Like, I prefer dance jams from Beyonce than country from Beyonce, but I don't hate it. I'm just not playing it on repeat. You what are? Do you, what do you think? What do you all Do you like it? Give me applause if you like this song. Okay. Most of the audience was there. We had a couple holdouts. A couple that were like, so it's just not me. so much. <laughs> just me. Just Shane. Okay, well, speaking of Beyonce's new music, the songs are leading to a new battle for some country, over country radio stations. So earlier this week, you might remember a fan requested a country station in Oklahoma play Texas Hold'em. Well, the station responded by saying they don't play Beyonce because their music is country, which led to some backlash, and now the station is playing both of Beyonce's new songs. <laughs> now, little perspective. I worked in country music for a hot minute. She sure did. I did, in the radio. And let me just preface this by saying, yeah. any woman getting played on radio in country music is hard. That's wild it is, it is not a friendly industry for women. It really isn't. And th this was when I was there, so this was a while ago. Mm -hmm. But not that long ago. It was run by men, and it, it yeah. felt so different even as the artists would come through and introduce their music, how the men were treated and their songs were played versus the women. It was just so much harder for any woman, yet alone a woman of color. Right. To crack the code. To get them. into there. I love that this is a challenge that's happening, though, because right. they do need a shake-up in country music. They do. Yeah. Like, they do. And it's Beyonce. It's the queen. They claim they didn't know. I know. Like you, but there's I, no way if you are in music, yeah, in a country or in a radio station, in any music, that you didn't know what was happening with Beyonce's music. So, please. I I was along the lines of like, oh well, it's a small station, and maybe their just automatic response is, you know, we just don't play rock and roll, we don't play anything else but country music. But when you said that, I was like. Oh, you're right. It's like literally everywhere. You'd have to live under a rock to not know the yeah. Beyonce just came out with a country And song. look at all the women in country who have went over to the pop. Right. Because it's a much friendlier format for them. <gasps> like Taylor. Like Taylor, Mary who, Morris. Maren Morris. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of them. Huh. Kelsey Ballerini sort of doing the dance on both sides. Yeah. Shane, the insights. Yeah. I didn't know anything. I'm worth something. Once in a while, I have some good advice. That's right, she is. <laughs> Next to the dish, no explanation necessary.
That's how Amy Schumer is responding to questions about her face this week. Schumer is making the rounds promoting season two of her show, Life and Beth. That's why she's been on all the hosts. And you check out your screen right now. So if you know Amy, uh, she looks a little bit different right now. She was on The Tonight Show earlier this week, as well as Good Morning America and a couple of other shows. Some fans question why her face looks different than it used to. So Amy said in an Instagram post, I've enjoyed feedback and deliberation about my appearance, as all women do, for almost 20 years. You're right, it is puffier than normal right now. Schimmer has endro endro endometriosis. Yeah, Sorry, it. it took me a second to get that one out. Something she disclosed a couple of years ago, so we've known this for a while. And in the post, Amy said, I believe a woman doesn't need an excuse for her physical appearance and owes no explanation. Yes. She even at the very bottom of it, she made light and basically said, I had dancers behind me and this is somehow what we're talking about is my face. And I had to, like, I brought on performers during my bit and this is what we're talking about. Um, it's true. I mean, there's really nothing more to say than that. I think when you live in a very public format, I mean, her to an extreme level that you and I don't understand, but we get it at a very microcosm, right? People are going to ask like, when I was pregnant or when you were pregnant. It's like people were very, very nice, but it was like, are you pregnant? I'm like, yes, I am nine months pregnant right now. Yes, I wouldn't you, say they were all very ask, nice, but okay. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot were pretty nice about it, but so you do expect a little bit of feedback, I guess would be the word, or people going, is something going on with you? But at the end of the day, she's right. Like, it's none of your business. Nope. People don't really ask this of men as much as they'll ask it about women. And so, done. I like it. Same here. I think of what we get. It's mm -hmm. so small. And then I think of the amount of onslaught of hate that anybody in that position gets, especially women. Right. And I don't know how they deal with it, honestly. So Hopefully they have a you. good therapist to help them through. <laughs> you know, you just got to <laughs> mentally. Somebody talk me through oh. this. All right. Well, we have a lot more to come here. So we'll be right back after the break. Stay with us. Jason Show Birthday Club. As you can see, they get a beautiful birthday pin, a sash, and up to $20 of free play at Grand Casino. Woo! You can sign up to book your tickets at eventbrite.com. If you can't make it here on your actual birthday, we'll give you a few days before and after to come and celebrate. It's easy. You sign up. You just click a box. It says, yes, it's my birthday, and yes, I want to celebrate with you. And we give you things. Yeah. It's easy. That's all it's easy. It's easy. A lot of birthdays out there today. <clears throat> all right, more dish now. It seems young women aren't the only ones smitten with actor Timothy Chalamet. His co-stars are taken with him as well. Stephen Colbert has more in today's Late Night Rewind. Publisher News, Josh Brolin wrote a bunch of poems for a behind-the-scenes Dune book, including one about Timothy Chalamet's cheekbones. <laughs> it includes these lines. Your face is etched by adolescence. Your cheekbones jump toward what are youth-laden eyes that slide down a prominent nose and onto lips of a certain poetry. That is absolutely beautiful, Josh. Bravo. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet responded with a poem of his own. Roses are red, violets are blue. I'm going to call HR on you. <laughs> during that. I did too. Okay. Romance at its Let's finest, but was it romantic? All right. <laughs> Staying on the topic of Dune 2, another one of Chalamet's co-stars in the movie is turning heads with her choice of wardrobe. That's just one of the stories we're talking about with Jacob from TMZ. Hi, Jacob. Hey, how's it going? It's good to see you. Okay, we are talking about Zendaya. She got, like, full cyborg at the premiere of Dune 2. She stole the show at the Dune 2 red carpet premiere. So this was on Wednesday in London. And uh, speaking to Timothy Chalamet, he was there too, but was a little, a little bit more of a modest outfit. Uh, so was Austin Butler. But all eyes were on Zendaya. Ooh. You can see her here. I mean, this is a vintage futuristic robot suit. I mean, sit, when she was standing in the middle of her whole cast, she sticks out like a sore thumb. But also, I think the outfit's really cool. I mean, you don't really see stars wearing stuff like this. 
at premieres, and I mean, hey, just very on brand for Zendaya. She's always the star of the show. So a lot of people were loving it, and we're even comparing her to Tin Man of Wizard of Oz. Yes. So I think we need to give her some more credit. I think it's a pretty cool outfit. Who wore it best, Tin Man or Zendaya? <laughs> okay, all right, next up, some criticism for players from the Kansas City Chiefs after they went to a private party following the Super Bowl. So what's the story with that? Yeah, well, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs uh, Super Bowl parade turned tragic just a couple days ago when a shooting ran out, rang out in the crowd. And following that shooting, uh, a lot of people were surprised after we published photos showing Kansas City Chiefs players showing up at a bar in Kansas City just mere hours after the shooting. Uh, the only photos that we obtained of players were that of Travis Kelsey, of course, one of the most popular players on the team who's dating T Taylor Swift. We have a photo of him entering this bar, taking a photo with a policeman. Uh, he has a beer in his hand, a red jumpsuit. And actually, we learned from our sources that this party was all planned by Patrick Mahomes. This was planned well before the Super Bowl, or, or I should say well before the parade. And all the players were deciding to go after the parade to this bar. I think a lot of people were just surprised that after what happened, that they decided to go out and celebrate in public. Mm, I see. All right, finally, a little lighter note to this week, Usher revealed he had his heart broken by Chili from TLC when she turned him down from a proposal 20 years ago. But she's like, I have something to say about this. Yes. So uh, first off, I should say Usher is happily married. He got married the same day he performed the Super Bowl halftime show what? in Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, so so I think he's doing all right. And as it turns out, uh, I didn't know this, but 20 years ago when he was dating Chili from TLC, he proposed to Chili and which she said no. Uh, he said he took this pretty hard. Uh, and we spoke to our chili sources, and she's not worried about this at all. Pepper and cinnamon? <laughs> I, I, I understand how that came off. But we spoke to our, our sources close to chili, I should say. And she's not worried about what Usher has to say about their relationship. In fact, she's actually with her boyfriend, Matthew Lawrence, down in Jamaica right now, celebrating his 44th birthday. They're hanging out with each other, cuddling on the beach. Uh, she doesn't worry, have to worry about what Usher has to say at all. Uh, but I just was surprised to hear that Usher proposed 20 years ago and she said no. That would have been the Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey of the time. Of like the 90s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were so big. Wow. All right, Jacob from TMZ, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Gosh, what a couple. I know. It's okay. I know. We moved on. It's in the past. But Sorry. Mm. I can't get over that Matthew Lawrence is 44 either. If you grew up like loving 90s sitcoms, yep. I'm like wow, that means I'm also there. Okay, yeah. that's what that means. Got she it. Does. Sorry for that. Thank you. Happy Friday. Next yeah. up, Left in the Dark. It turns out Katy Perry was actually telling the truth when she said fellow American Idol judges Lionel Richie and Luke Bryan had no clue that she was leaving the show. So Richie was on Jimmy Kimmel on Thursday night and responded to Katy's announcement. Yeah. Katy Perry announced on the show on Monday that she was leaving American Idol. Is uh, did she? She told me that she hadn't told you yet. Is that true? Who? Katy. <laughs> <laughs> Were you mad at Katy no. for no, announcing no, no, it on listen. air before talking to you about it? Yeah, I'm not mad. It just it made me run off the road when oh, I was talking about yeah. it. My phone blew up. But the point was, no, we didn't know about it. But it makes sense. In other words, Okay, Lionel says he supports Katie on taking on new challenges. He says the search is already underway for the next judge. Um, so that's still in the air, huh? Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> that's like what I got from that. I really didn't know we were still doing American Idol. Yeah. Well, Shane. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Shane. It's, yeah, seventh season on ABC. Yeah. So the same amount that we talked about, so we talked about this the other day, the original three judges of American Idol that you think of, you know, you think yes. of like Randy and Paul, blah, blah, blah. Right. The, the new judges have when been they made the exact stars. amount of time. Oh, see, there it is. Shane's just throwing daggers today, Who everybody. Here? Yeah. I have no idea. That's what I thought. No one I knows. I can't name one person. <laughs> Katy Perry. That's who didn't win. All right. Next in the dish, J-Lo isn't the only one with new music out today. Ariana Grande, or as Jason calls her, Ariana Grande Latte, is out with a remix of her song, Yes And, and it features her longtime idol, Mariah Carey. Give it a listen.
sound like her though? That it sounds like cyborg Mariah. Right. It like, doesn't have her normal tone. Like no. they sped it up or slowed it down or they did something to it. Something is fishy here. Well, okay. I, so yeah, there's something going on. Anyway, the, okay, so the two previously sang the Christmas song, Oh Santa, together with Jennifer Hudson. So they're just kind of getting back together for this. But we don't need to touch her voice. I just, yeah. I, I mean, she's Mariah. Yeah. And maybe she did sing the whole thing. I just, it's its weird. We don't love it. Yeah. That's our hot That sounded review. like AI was told to sing like Mariah. Yes. And then that's what it was. And Ariana was like, does this work for you? <laughs> okay, thanks, girl. Pay Bye. Your money. Yep. <laughs> All right, next in the dish for most famous people, taking selfies and signing autographs comes with the territory. But Curb Your Enthusiasm star Larry David came up with a way to try and avoid taking selfies, and he talked about it on Conan O'Brien's podcast. I, I tried something new, and I said, you know what? <laughs> I, can't, I can't take pictures outside. <laughs> Wait, what? Like a vampire? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, you know, there's, there's people, I can't take pictures outside. Um, and then when I was inside, I would say to people, you know what? I'm not, I can't take pictures. <laughs> and uh, so how's that working for you? It, it, you know, it started out okay, and then I, I, I sort of couldn't get through it without laughing. <laughs> saying that to somebody. Uh, the 12th season by of Curb Your Enthusiasm is airing now on HBO or so Max. Like, is, he a, is he a cyborg? Is he like, I don't understand. Like, am I a vampire? I can't take pictures outside. Like, I was thinking inside you could be like, the lighting is bad typically, right? Yeah, because Larry but. David would really care about the lighting, you know? Like, I just can't with this lighting. I'm it's so sorry. not doing anything for me. No, it's not doing us <laughs> justice. Okay, next up, make room in your online dictionary, folks. Do it. Get out your phones right now and make some room in that dictionary. <laughs> Dictionary.com just added more than 300 new words. Woo! Yes. Thank you. So great. Many were inspired by pop culture. So we want to see how many that we know. First up, bed rotting. Oh. Oh. Yes. Shane? Sounds gross. I do actually know about this only because that other show we do on the other side of the wall. Oh, okay. We well, that was fun. Bed rotting is spending hours in bed, often with snacks or your phone or your computer. So you're literally just laying in bed all day being a potato. Yes. Yes. There's other terms like couch potato. Yeah. Is now bed rotting. It's just ishy. I get like visuals when I hear the word bed rotting. These, see, second row, she's great with me. I'm like, but do you think when couch potato came out, people were the same? Like, ooh, no, because a potato gross. and a rotten thing are like kind of different. I love me a potato, all forms of potato, chip, fry, <laughs> baked, mashed, tater tot. You know what I'm saying? We got time for more? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I digress. Turn off on a tangent. Okay, here's the next phrase range anxiety. I don't know this one actually. Do you? I didn't um, until now. <laughs> but then I looked at the teleprompter and like read what it meant, so I'm just gonna not guess. Okay, it is described as the fear your electric car's battery will run out of power before you get where you're going. <laughs> That's a thing. That would be a thing. Right. So I don't have one of those, so I understand why I don't get that. But yeah. Yeah, because you'd be like, I mean, and I hear that, especially with, depending on where you are, weather, climate, like that can really affect things. All of us are like, I don't have a fancy battery operated car, but if I did, I'd feel that too. Because I feel like winter would kill it all the time. All the time. Okay, see if you know this one. Mid. Nope. That's it. <laughs> Mid-century <laughs> modern? Shane's going to design. Anyone in the audience? Mid. No. Nope, There's not even going to guess this one. Mid means mediocre. Unimpressed and disappointing. I mean, that makes sense. Okay, I'm Please don't think mid. we're mid. <laughs> I hope this show is not mid for you today. No, it's up. It's, it's. Up is not one of the words we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> it's up. We can start it. It's fine. Okay, last one is cheat code. Um, I mean, on The yeah. Sims, I used to know a cheat code. It was like Rosebud. You just ate If you put that in, you so got much. more money. Do you guys? I remember yeah. that. Yes, Rosebud. See? Then you could build a mega mansion it was and not have to work. Absolutely cheating. Taught us but nothing. It was so fun. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling it's not the same. Cheat code no. refers to a life hack that bypasses traditional rules. That's the same thing as The Sims code. <laughs> so I know. It's the same thing. I started it. Cheat code. I, I have nothing. I, I'm not cool enough anymore officially. I didn't know about the, it's the been cucumbers a while the, in the beginning. And in the cool. We're talking about Sims. I mean, come on. All right, much more to come <laughs> on the show today. Stick around with us. Okay, so after the break, Kendall and I are sharing our latest best things ever from a product to depuff your face 
So something that keeps babies entertained in the car. You're going to thank us. And later, not the typical dentist appointment. Come along with me as I help give a seal a tooth checkup. Stop it. It's pretty cute. What a dream. Yeah, stick around. <laughs> recommend it to Jason Show viewers and then hope that you enjoy it too. But don't tell us if you don't because we'll be really sad. <laughs> Just kidding, you can tell us anything you do. So today, Shane and I are sharing our latest Best Things Ever. All right, I'm gonna go first. Um, my best thing ever today is perfect for new parents. It's something that's gonna keep your baby entertained in the car for a good chunk. It's called the Ben Bat. This is a video I took in my garage, so it's clearly just a video in my garage, but it gives you an idea of what things look like. So this is this car seat mirror that plays songs. It has lights. I had just like a lot of people requested just a basic mirror for, you know, you can see your infant behind you, yep. easy breezy. And my girlfriend who had two kids gave me this. And honest to God, I was like, Caitlin, this is a little extra. What is this? It's all colorful and weird. Not really my vibe. I just wanted a nice little black mirror there <laughs> that sure, didn't stand sure. out. But she said, you will thank me later. Here's a couple of pictures from the company. Okay. So the thing that's interesting about it is that it plays, like I said, it plays music. Some of it's for waking up. Some of it's for going to sleep. It has different lights. You can play it uh, without music. So it's just lights. Because Kai will get in the car and he'll just not be the happiest camper after about an hour. I mean, he starts crying. He doesn't want to be in there. And yes. we put this thing on because it has a little remote that you keep up by the seat with you. Oh. And he's immediately like, boop. He's quiet. He's entertained. He can see himself. He can see his lights and listen to his music. And mommy and daddy don't have to listen to Kai. Stress free. It's wonderful. Um, so it turns off automatically after about 15 minutes in case you lose the remote. Uh, it really does work. I recommend it if you're somebody who's looking for a gift for someone or maybe like me, they wanted just a basic car mirror like most parents do. This one's great. It's on Amazon. It's only, uh, it's about 30 bucks. So it's, it's, get it. Ben Bat, B-N-B-A-T. Go figure. It's a little ugly. Doesn't I'm make sorry. Much sense. It it's doesn't. funny. I my youngest is now six, so yeah. we're way out of baby world. But we had something similar, but it just played really annoying music and lit up. Yeah. You couldn't control it, and there were no extra settings. And this just shows how things oh. evolve over how six years. What parents. I had to what you have. I'm like, all Ooh. the parents were like, we don't want that part anymore. It was anymore. so obnoxious. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's great. good. And it's safe. I mean, the mirror itself is all. Everything's been certified. It's not like the mirror is an actual mirror that will shatter if you get in a car accident. Um, <laughs> so that is something to note. That's we good. did check that out. But. <laughs> All right. Okay. My first item is a beauty product. It is the Flawless Facial Massage like, What are you digging Isol. out behind I had, back? I brought it with me. <laughs> okay. So this is it. Okay. So I was seeing people doing this on like, I don't know, probably TikTok or whatever. It's an yeah. ice roller. So basically the bottom pops off and you throw okay. it in your freezer and then you just pop it on. I'll show you again when we get out of the video. It, this thing's 10 bucks at Ulta, by the way. And I was like, what, what's the harm in trying it for 10 bucks? Anyway, right. I roll my face for like five to 10 minutes every morning and it, number one, it feels really good. Mm -hmm. I actually don't know if it does anything. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Can't confirm or deny. It just feels good. Oh, but it just feels off. really good. Can I see it? And then you just roll and roll. I, want to, I just want to touch it, you guys. No okay. It's like going on Shane's face, and I'm like, can I see can it? Can I touch that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, it feels really good. It's really easy, and I just, like, you roll oh. out to kind of push the puffiness out. It's not small enough. You can get right under your eyes, and they have a lot of different types out there, but I really like it for 10 I bucks. I got a little makeup on it. your roller. Sorry. Oh, it feels good. I mean, even without being see? ice cold. I think in the summer, it would feel real clutch. Hello. Winter's Hello. a little harder to throw ice on your face first thing in the morning. Do they have, like, <laughs> like spare of these? Because, you know, I want. what if I want, like, a 20-minute sesh? Do I need a second one? Am I, is that just weird? Yeah, that might be a bit much. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really want to get You might not there. like it. Just buy you two. Know? Buy two. Okay. For 10 bucks, you're like, oh, okay, sure. It's cute. It's a cute color, too. Rose gold, very in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll be massaging. 
while I read. I actually don't want to touch one. my face because I've got makeup on and I'm going to ruin it. Sorry, Sorry. I just did that. Uh, <laughs> next, okay, I get a lot of questions about this where I get a lot of my dresses uh, when I'm not pregnant or just being done being pregnant. I just have a bunch, but right now I've been using Rent the Runway. It is honest to goodness my most asked question. This was a dress I wore yesterday also from Rent the Runway. What I'm wearing today is from there. It's a subscription-based service that you can get. Uh, you can do it on a computer, I'm sure, but I just use the app. Uh, it's really great. This is one I wore last Friday. It's a Diane von Furstenberg, so it's like a $500 dress Ooh. that I could never afford, nor right. would I even look at because I can't afford it. Um, but I, th I think a lot of folks, you're going to an event, you're going on a vacation, it's someone's wedding, or like me, or a lot, you just go, gosh, I don't want to buy a bunch of clothes when I'm pregnant, or after you have the baby, you go, oh, wait, I thought it would all just go away, <laughs> didn't all go away, <laughs> and my clothes don't fit yet, but I don't want to buy a bunch. Yep. Um, it is more expensive. If you want to do the service that I have, I get two deliveries a month of five items, so I get 10 total dresses a month. Um, it's 150 bucks. So it's about $15 a dress. Now, granted, what I do for a living makes it like I have to do that, but I'm saying for each of you, it's something worth checking out if you're going on a trip, if you're doing something, just because you can do the subscription and you usually get a deal right off the bat, like 90 bucks for 10 outfits that you could bring on a trip somewhere. So oh. rent the runway, that's what I do. I've done that for every vacation I ever go and I do that. Okay, uh, finally, it's one of the hottest cake trends right now. So for Valentine's Day this week, we had a Taylor Swift burn away cake at our house from Something Sweet by Maddie Lou. So if you watch this, essentially you light the top of the cake and then you see that first Taylor image and it takes maybe 25 seconds, but it will reveal another Taylor image underneath. Are you ready for it? That's all I want to say when And I'm then you, it. yeah, you just kind of chop Whoa. off the top what? frosting. Okay. I'm sorry, you just like, someone just makes this for yeah, anyone? Yeah, in Coon Rapids, the bakery here that does it. I'm sure it's done at other places. Right. So, do you just ask for a burn away cake? Yeah, you go in and they ha they're they really popular now, and so oh. you just ask for a burn away cake. I think my mother-in-law actually got us this and had this made in Taylor, Kira's favorite colors, because she okay. loves Taylor. And let me tell you, I was worried about the taste. Okay, we, yeah, just, we like just, you burn just burn something, something on some top frosting. of it, so gross. You kind of just chop Bombay. off the top frosting and there's another whole cake under there. Oh. And it was so good. Is that how you're supposed to eat it? Like you're supposed to take off the top? Yeah, and they have enough, oh. they built up like layers. That's how you can burn it without actually getting the cake. It's The it's more you know everybody, right? the more you know. Mm -hmm. Those are our best things ever, everybody. If you have any questions, let us know. We'll answer them. We'll, answer them. we'll be right back, everybody. Just a couple minutes. Away, which means it's crunch time if you want to see those nominated films. And there's only a few that you can watch at home, I recently discovered. So I decided to watch the new Bradley Cooper movie, Maestro. It's nominated for seven Academy Awards. Before I get to the review, here's a little part of the trailer. If Sama doesn't sing anything, then nothing sings anything. And if nothing sings in you, then you can't make music. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, so Maestro is a biographical film about the American composer Leonard Bernstein and his wife Felicia and their relationship. Uh, so it starts really when he got, it doesn't go to his childhood, it starts right off the bat with when he became famous with his first performance at Carnegie Hall. Uh, I will say I really liked and enjoyed this movie, but I will be honest, a lot of you watching probably like a lot of the things Jason does, so I'm not sure if you will, because I don't think Jason would like this movie. This is where I'm going with this, which is interesting. Um, I loved it. I love classic Hollywood cinema. I love Hitchcock. I love any of those black and white movies from back in the day, and I think the first about 30 minutes of this film, you'll see it here, is all shot very much film noir. It's very quick, witty banter. The scenes are set up just like you're watching a show that would have been filmed at the time period in the 50s in the beginning of their relationship. There's even musical numbers. It's very, very interesting, but I will say also, it's a subtitle movie. That's oh. what Jordan and I call these, where the banter is so quick that you're like, 
What did I just say? <laughs> so you have to watch it with subtitles to really pick up on it. Huh. Um, the other thing is during that, because obviously Bernstein is a composer, all the music in the movie, almost all of it, is all by him. So when you watch it with subtitles, it tells you what the piece is. Oh. And often it has something to do, the title of the piece has something to do with what you're watching, which is I thought was really, really cool. At the end of the day, it's very much a love story. A love story between him, his wife. There's a piece, uh, the 60s and 70s it goes into right before this phenomenal moment where he um, he has affairs. He is a man who has affairs with many, multiple men throughout his life. And his wife is basically like, I don't care, just be subtle about it so that people don't know. Hmm. It culminates in this moment. It's a six minute piece about this one song. Uh, it was in London originally. It's incredibly powerful, it really happened. It gave me chills, I teared up a little bit during this. And after this seminal six minute piece, completely get lost in the movie. I thought that Carey Mulligan was amazing as his wife Felicia, I thought he was incredible. You forget that he's Bradley Cooper, he is Bernstein. So check it out, it's on Netflix. I really enjoyed it. It's a slow burn, though. Okay, and now I'm a little embarrassed about my pick. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Love is Blind is back. Woo! <laughs> Okay, there's 30 minutes, <laughs> it's true. New uh, men and women entered the pods. This time it's in Charlotte, North Carolina. First batch of episodes dropped on Valentine's Day, so I watched the first episode, and here's one moment that made me cringe so hard. <laughs> Hello. What's your name? Matthew. Matthew, hey. I'm Jessica. I have questions written down and they're numbered one through 15. Okay. So if you want, you can pick a number. Give me 10. What is something you think you excel at in relationships? My loyalty and devotion to my partner. What about you? You know, I was just gonna ask the questions. I wasn't really anticipating getting the same one back. Oh my God. Yep, just dude talking to the wall. Do you have anything you'd like to ask me? I do have a list of 15 and you can pick a number and I'll ask you a question. 12. What is one of your current short-term goals? I do want to meet the love of my life. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to actually meet someone without them judging me and me judging them. And so naturally, like I'm trying to be kind and wholehearted as I possibly can. You're gonna be judged is always a little bit, you know, scary. However, I think also being in like you know, everyday life, people judge too, you know? Are you there? <gasps> He walks out on multiple women just for no real reason. He just like gets up and leaves. What? <laughs> so there's that. But there's one other thing. The whole idea of this is that love is blind, right? You cannot see the person. Right. So one guy is torn between two girls, and one gal tells him she looks like Megan Fox. That people confuse her with Megan Fox. Uh-huh. So he picks her. In this moment, he's like, I want to marry you right now. Which yeah. is the whole thing. It's she so is a beautiful woman. She does not look like Megan Fox. <laughs> so when they meet, he's so disappointed that she's not Megan Fox, that he can't even give her an ounce of respect that they spent all these hours talking. And because she's not Megan Fox. is not Tom Cruise. So I don't know what is happening, but I'm going to stick around and watch all of it. <laughs> That's awful. From Oscar-nominated films to trash. <laughs> your pick everybody we'll be right back <laughs> But animals, they need it too. Mm -hmm. February, and you learned something here, is actually National Pet Dental Health Month. Yes, that's a thing. So I decided to head out to the Como Zoo in St. Paul and help clean up some seals' pearly whites in our latest Kendall Tries Your 9 to 5. Oh, how cute is that? Seals do more tricks than my kid and my dogs combined. I really do think that they know more tricks than my child and my dogs together. My child just knows how to make that noise when he's hungry. <laughs> I can't help but wonder how long it takes to teach a seal how to brush its teeth. I should come here for pointers when Kai's yeah. growing some. The teeth aren't gonna stay very minty fresh if you eat a fish right away. That's why. <laughs> oh, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> he begs to differ. Your timing's impeccable. Should be a comedian. So, Natalie, I'm cleaning the teeth. With teeth? With teeth. That was witty. Yeah. So it kind of works as like a uh, microbial toothbrush. <laughs> microbial toothbrush. Yeah. That sounds... It's very sciencey. Thank you. I'll yeah. keep that one in my head. And it kind of works as that like toothbrush that kind of gets rid of that flap. I put teeth in my water. We have a human Back product. Up. You put teeth in your water? I do. Yes. I wouldn't give it to these seals if I didn't test it first, too. Okay, you sound like my sister with her dog food. She's like, the dog's <laughs> gotta eat what I eat. And I'm like, no, the dog's gonna eat some kibble. For real. Yeah, yep. So what I learned here, if the animals can have it, then I can have it, too. So we're gonna test that theory. I just volunteer to put this in my mouth. You did, yes. Okay. And I'm being serious, you were working on their teeth? Yeah, teeth help. So I'm, <laughs> wait, can I just like point this out? This is the craftiest thing ever. It's called teeth. We're putting teeth on their teeth. You, you really like that joke. You told me like before we even got here that joke. I know, but it's really good. I'm cleaning the teeth with teeth. <laughs> teeth. Um, so I'm going to put it on in here, and uh, then we're going to fill up this syringe with about four mils of water. I'm going to shake it around so it turns nice and yellow. <laughs> Where's that going? Is that for the seals then? Uh, no, this is for you. We're going to squirt no, some tea. Wait, you're joking. We're not no. we're actually putting this in my mouth? Then you'll know what the seal tastes. this stupid show that I should get paid more for. Okay. Right, do you want a napkin? I mean, I can put a paper towel well, over your white. No, you're just like All right. elbow in college. All right, you ready? Uh -huh. Open. Uh-huh. Tea. Delicious. I mean, it's better than the tequila and Cabo. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're gonna do to the animals too. And what are you doing, now, Kendall? Um, so we're about to go out and actually do the thing. We're gonna brush a brush a brush. Try your brand new flavor. It's happy for your teeth. So you're There's gonna much grease. brush their teeth. Is, yes. is that what you're trying to say? Oh yeah, I'm brushing their teeth. She does this for a living. <laughs> Just say brush your teeth. Brush a brush a brush. That's the spot, because he knows this is where the food's coming. <laughs> Me too, I just wait where I know where the food's coming to. Okay, we have to stand over here, because these are actually large, real animals. Good job. Good job, right here, bub. Looking at you, because you're so handsome. Good, okay, uh, Kendall, if you yes. could just hand me the swab. Because I'm like really nervous because I don't want to screw up the teeth. <laughs> Eric, this isn't a joke. I can't get this, but I can get it. You know, you're just opening a package, right? I would have made a really great scientist. Right here. I know, they're all staring at you. That'd make me nervous too. <laughs> okay, Kelly, I got it. All right, thank you. Welcome. All right, open. Good, hold, swap it, hold. Good, hold. You're okay. Wally is better at the dentist than I am. So this is the dental cleaning. Oh. I don't need it. I'm not allowed to get that close. Okay, so just bend down a little bit. Wave. All right, so jump. Get out of here and get out of the way. Good. Hello. Oh, I get in the pool too, roll in like that. <laughs> oh, can you see it? Yes, Eric, I can see it. It's like a two by four on my forehead. <laughs> on my head. Oh, Not man. a single shot from the GoPro? Not a single <laughs> shot. Wow. Uh, well, thank you to Como Zoo and the folks, of course, at Teeth for Life for having us out. We'll be right back. <laughs> you want to make the joke again? Teeth. Teeth for your teeth. Teeth. <laughs> oh, welcome back, everybody. All right. You know what time it is. It's time to meet 
today's JVIP. This is Heather from Albertville, Minnesota. She says she loves the show. It's upbeat and hilarious, and it's her favorite daytime talk show. Thank you, Heather. Yay. Whoa. Heather gets a Jason Show mug and is entered to win the monthly grand prize, which includes being a VIP guest in the audience, a $150 gift card to Becker Furniture, and a $250 gift certificate to Renew Med Spa. Whoa. You did it. I was Bob Barkering a little. But you tried. Woo! It's good. <laughs> we'll be right back. When we have a show and Jason's not here, we know that it's a little different. This is the Jason Show, name on the floor, as we say. So we just want to say thank you to our great audience for coming hey. out with us today. You were wonderful. Thank you, thank you. We appreciate it. And thank you for those who didn't turn the channel. Yes. We were not <laughs> mid today, I hope. No, we were up. We sound so old when we say it that we're like, we're mid. I'm still trying to make up happen. It's okay. not happening. <laughs> Let me have a chance. <laughs> next week on The Jason Show, it won't be me, but some of your favorites <laughs> will return. But not Shane. Guests next week include Colleen Lindstrom, the return of Stephanie Hansen, and the cooking mom. Woo! She's always fun movies. We'd love to see you here in our audience. Get your tickets at eventbrights.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Have a wonderful weekend or a wonderful week. If you're watching us from some other places, be safe. Jason will be back next and week. And eat your cucumbers with your liquor. That's right. You're welcome.